What's up, Libras? Lovely Libra. Thank you guys for clicking that thumbnail to see what this reading is talking about. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, check your Jupiter and check uh, what signs in your seventh house, which is the Libra house, and what sign your Sun and your Venus fall in. Um, keep in mind, it won't resonate with every single Libra, so take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Um, let's get started, Libra. Also, don't mind the head wrap. I am between hairstyles, <laughs> and the show must go on, okay? All right, let's get started, Oh, you guys, my email is in the description box, so you guys can email me any spiritual questions, spiritual advice, spiritual topics you want talked about on the channel. I have some uh, topics now that I'm kind of weaving through and figuring out what I'm going to start with now. So you you guys have already been emailing me some really dope things. Ooh, unrequited love. Okay, Libra, that's how we start now? Mm. Um, I'm a Libra rising, so... I'm usually curious on what uh, what's going to come up. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's too many, Spirit. That's too many. Let me look through and see in case some flips over again. Okay, mm, yeah. Um, also, you guys can email me about personal readings. Y'all been doing that anyway, which I appreciate. I also have an Etsy, you guys. But people don't use the Etsy. Y'all like to uh y'all like to email me, which is cool. I don't have no problem with it. You know, so yeah, if something decides to flip over. And if it doesn't flip over, I'll just pull it. There we go. Oh, we got two of them. So we got passion that came out. We got forgiving and learning. Mm, what's on the bottom of the deck? Give your relationship a chance. So who we giving a chance, Libra? Who we giving a chance? Hope it's not this unrequited love. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Let's see what's popping. All right, Spirit. Clarify unrequited love for Libra. And it says, there, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Mm. Well, we're going to see, though. The Seven of Pentacles popped out for that. <sighs> Somebody's not putting in the work or it might be you, Libra. You might not be putting in the work or into a situation or you feel like someone's not putting in the work into a situation. Um, yeah. Spirit, clarify passion for Libra. And it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, Libra, somebody um, around you, you feel like isn't putting in as much as you do or vice versa. Somebody feels like you're not really um, putting in anything into the connection. Oh, so we got the Nine of Cups here to clarify passion. Oh, the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> um... Yeah, you could be dealing with a water sign, um, but you could also find that um, somebody might find you to be their wish fulfillment. It's very clarified for giving and learning. And it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. Absolutely. Some of you guys might need to heal from a past connection. Um, with the Nine of Cups here for passion, I feel like um, someone finds you very attractive. Um, we'll flip over. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So for forgiving and learning, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Wands, y'all. Look at that. Child, you're, you're having to forgive somebody that may have caused a whole lot of conflict in your life. It could be this person you feel like uh, wasn't giving you the love that you gave them. Um, take it how it resonates, Pisces. And it's, it's going to take some time um, 
to get over this though. But I also feel like it's taking you a long time to forgive as well. With this Knight of Pentacles here and this Five of Wands, it might be taking you guys a long time to forgive someone or vice versa. Spirit, clarify, give your relationship a chance. And it says work on your partnership. So is this the partner? Okay, so... Oh, okay. So we have some pretty good cards. The, the Queen of Wands flipped over. The King of Wands flipped over. And the King of Pentacles. So Libra. Um... Do you have more than one option? Because we have a queen here and two kings. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, multiple. It doesn't have to be uh, one woman and two men, okay? But I do see three energies here. Take it how it resonates, Libra. Uh, some of you guys might have a choice um, between two people. Uh, yeah, and you, and you know you're going to have to make a choice. We're going to clarify that. Spirit, clarify unrequited love. So, so far, we've already established unrequited love popped out because you feel like somebody in your energy isn't, um, wasn't reciprocating what you were giving to them. Or it could be how they feel. Spirit, clarify unrequited love for Libras in love. Mm, the world. Yeah. So you feel like it's over with the queen, the queen of wands. Yeah. So whoever this person is, you feel like it's over with because the world is completion, but world, the world can also be some type of reconciliation. Um, so someone you felt like you wasn't putting in the work wants to come back around, wants to reconcile. Um, but as I said, it could be you are done, done with the situation or you, at least you thought, you thought that, you know, they were done with the situation. I like how the Queen of Wands is showing up again. So, yeah, someone finds you extremely attractive, Libra. Very, very, very attractive. Spirit, clarify passion for Libras in love. Or you find somebody attractive. You're very attracted to someone. Yeah. So we got the Six of Swords here. Oh, and the page of swords on the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So whoever is passionate about you is, is someone you moved away from, Libra. However, they see you as their wish fulfillment and they might be watching you too. They might be watching um, your social media or however they, they can watch you. They, they're probably watching you. Um. Yeah, this this could also be though the six of swords could also be you finding someone and you um, getting into some type of calm situation, a situation you're not really used to. Okay, um, spirit, clarify forgiving and learning for Libra and love. I feel like for a lot of you, this is someone you thought you thought was dead and done. Like you you thought that this was over. But this person, it doesn't want it to be over. Spirit, clarify forgiving and learning. The hermit. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Libra, look, th this can be one of two ways. Somebody's taking forever to come forth with an apology. Um... So you're having to forgive on your own without this person ever saying anything. Um, but this could also be you kind of saying to yourself, someone coming forward with an apology and you not forgiving it. You're not forgiving them. Um, you also might not um, respond to their texts or calls or anything either. Spirit, clarify, give your relationship a chance for Libra. Oh, that's why. Okay, so we got the Seven of Swords. Somebody being sneaky, honey. <sighs> but this can also be... But didn't I say somebody was watching you guys? The Page of Wands, you might be dealing with a younger fire sign. Um, 
with give your relationship a chance, you guys, I feel like this might have been somebody that was doing something sneaky in the past. But this could also be somebody trying to find a sneaky way to come back towards you. Because like I said, you guys, this you might not respond to the to your uh, to the text or call that they do. Or this is how they feel. They may feel like you're not going to respond to them at all. So they might be trying to come with some type of plot to um, come forward. Y'all, I don't know why this popped into my head, but I feel like, Libra, this person might try to catfish you. And what I mean is, they may make a fake account, say they make a fake account on Facebook or Instagram, and they're going to use that account to message you and talk to you. They're not, I feel like this person's not going to directly talk to you because they think that you're not going to respond to them and you may not because I feel like this person did some foolishness and they're going to, for some of you, I feel like this is going to be for a very small percentage. This is just a feeling that I got. They're going to make another account. They're going to do something really slick just to get you to talk to them. Because, again, they don't feel like they can come to you directly because they feel like you're you're in this hermit. And they probably cause a whole lot of conflict for nothing. Five of Wands is conflict, but the Five of Wands is also, is also really petty. Petty conflict. And with this Knight of Pentacles, it took them a long time to rectify it. It's taken them a long time to try to fix it. So now you're just like, F it. Like you haven't come forward now. You moved away. Like, okay, you you haven't, you know, this person hasn't tried, hasn't done anything to try to fix the problem. Um, and they know it. And they know you, Libra. And they know that you might not even respond to them. So they're going to try to do something shady and underhanded to get a response out of you. To get a reaction out of you. Ciao. Spirit, clarify the Seven of Swords. That's just the energy that I got. Oh, man. <laughs> we got the Empress uh, clarifying the Seven of Swords. Ooh. This person, this could go one of two ways. This person may have knocked somebody up, and then that's why you stopped talking to them. The Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so now that I'm seeing this, this could be them them thinking really the only way to keep you around is, is for you to get pregnant by them. Whatever it is is shady, um, Libra. It's extremely shady. Or take it how it resonates. If you're a man, they might feel like they need to get pregnant by you to keep you around this is a lot and there's a lot of wand energy here there's a king of wands here and a queen of wands here so this person is very very sexually attracted to you then you have the empress here because there's now there's four energies here it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're juggling and, and they're juggling it doesn't necessarily have to be that but i feel like with this per, per, uh, uh, if i can talk this particular situation um, this person might feel like in order to keep you around is for you to get pregnant. This is very similar to Taurus's reading or for you to get them pregnant for you, for you guys to involve a child, um, because they don't want to lose out on you. Yeah. Spirit, what else does Libra need to know? I also still feel like though, uh, Libra. They also might they also might reach out and tell you that that they got somebody pregnant as a lie to to try to get a reaction out of you. I mean, it's something wrong with this person. I'm getting, <laughs> this is the energy that I'm getting. This person is not going to directly reach out. Now it could be for some of you guys, but this person is going to do something slick and underhanded. The Ten of Pentacles, you guys. Yeah, um, they want. <laughs> It, this really just clarified what I just said. Look, look at those kids on there, you guys. Look at that. 
They want a family with you, but for a lot of you, you're done with this person. You're done with them. But they don't want you to be done. You see the nine of swords at the bottom? They don't want you to be done with them. All right, Spear, what else does Libra need to know about this situation? Yeah. 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 Y'all, listen, I can't make this up. Wow, y'all. This person wants to fam a family with you and they're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. Because they know some of you guys might have really high morals and you know if if you if they know if you get pregnant or whatever you're going to you're going to stick with them. Um you got the fool here, it could be an Aries, but someone wants to um take a leap of faith. We got the magician here, could be a Gemini. And we got the 10 of cups. Y'all look more kids, more family. Look at the kids right here on the card. Listen, y'all. I'm just saying, don't, don't, um, don't fall for no manipulative tactics. Is all I'm saying. Don't, don't take no, uh, no one night stand offers. Don't do none of that. Okay. Because yeah, this person is manifesting, trying to manifest you back. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, you haven't talked to them in a while with this Knight of pentacles here. Um, yeah, the four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck there. Look how she's holding on. They're holding on to you. And they don't want anyone else to have you. And they're not, they're not going to be happy <laughs> instead of them being a better person. Like, you know, just be a better person. And then maybe Libra will deal with you. But, um, this, this isn't how this person operates. They're trying to find some way to, uh, keep you, keep you in their life, some sneaky way to get you back in their life you guys so just be mindful of that libra it's going to be different for all of you okay nothing in my life is the same since you left of course uh we know that of course we know that that's why you, they, they're going they're going to go through great lengths libra to get you back you were the best thing that ever happened to me did i say listen y'all listen <laughs> this person is desperate best part by her i always tell y'all listen to songs if a song come out go listen to it i keep being drawn to you you feel like home to me yep that's all those tens too the ten of cups the ten of pentacles that's uh the um yeah the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles that's someone that feels like home to them broken hearted by brandy and wanye didn't y'all get this before 3 a.m. Janine. So if I pull a card, you guys, about a song, especially if a song, it's a song you've never heard, go check it out. You know, go hop on YouTube and check it out. I wish I could tell you how I really feel. Yeah. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you, you're you not going to talk to them, period, because of how they were, how they treated you. Um, it's going to be different for all of you. Um, and I feel like this person knows, I feel like for a lot of you, this person owes you an apology and it's taken them a long time to do it. And they know that. On My Love by Tank. Yeah. They actually might try to, they actually might try to send you a song in order to lighten up the mood. I'm working on myself for you. Yep. They might try to use that too. They might tell you that they are working on themselves to, um, be a better person. I miss your touch. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're not making love no more by Drew, by Drew Hill. Yeah. They definitely, I told y'all, this, this person uh, misses like the physical intimacy with you as well. Lions, Tigers, and Bears by J Jasmine Sullivan. I think I pulled this for Gemini as well. Y'all, I don't know how I always be pulling the same types of cards for you guys, but child, I'm in my head over you 24-7. Let me get one more. Missing You by Case. Lots of songs. So music might be y'all's love language. Um, I see marriage with you. Didn't I tell y'all? Look. Yeah. This person is hoping that you get knocked up or you knock them up so there can be a marriage. Okay? Take care of resonance, Libra, because it could be some other sneaky, underhanded way 
that they're going to keep you around instead of just telling you that they love you and they want you to be there. They're going to have some weird way of showing you. I don't know. People move in different ways. People move in odd ways that we we don't really understand. Uh, so Libra, hope this resonate with you. <laughs> if it did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Um, I appreciate all the likes, subscribes, love offerings, pretty much everything, y'all. Um, and until y'all next reading, y'all, peace out.